Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Hawaii ACAC Virtual College Fair. We have an awesome program for you this afternoon with lots of great institutions that you'll get to hear from. Welcome to the Hawaii Virtual College Fair. I just have a couple of quick announcements before we start this afternoon. Um, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. You'll be able to ask questions in the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen. You'll be able to qu ask questions throughout the presentations to our presenters at any time. I would encourage you to list the college name of the, in front of the question um, so they know that you're asking a question of them in particular so that they know who, who gets to answer your question. This is a webinar and your microphone and your cameras are turned off so our presenters cannot see or hear you this evening or this afternoon. This is just one of the many sessions that's happening, so I hope that you're able to sign up for additional sessions or um, look back at some of those recordings from previous sessions. This is being recorded tonight and will be available for um, on-demand playback at, um, within about a week of this presentation at the same website where you registered. So again, make sure you make good use of that Q&A button at the bottom of your screen and type those questions in and make sure you list the institution that you have the question of. So without further ado, I am gonna introduce our first institution. You are first gonna to get to hear from Temple University Japan Campus. Okay, thank you very much. Aloha everyone, my name is Kelly Nuibe from Temple University Japan and Campus, TUJ for short. For those of you who don't know us, our main campus is on the East Coast in uh, Philadelphia. We have our second campus in Rome, Italy, followed by our third campus in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, I am originally from Hawaii, so of course I need to have Hawaii clearly represented on the map. As you know, objects appear closer than they really are sometimes. Um, and for those of you who are wondering, it is possible to study at all three campuses. We have had students do that. And yes, it is possible to come to Japan for all four years and earn your U.S. bachelor's degree in Tokyo, Japan. I'm going to keep this presentation brief and short, so I'm going to highlight the five key points on why students choose TUJ. Number one reason is because of quality education. We are fully accredited by the Middle States Commission on Higher Education in the US. What does that mean? It means we are we promise to give you a, a quality education that's taught in the US. You are being uh, taught the skills necessary to succeed in the future and work in any field. Another reason why students choose us is because of our diversity. 40% are US by passport, 40% are Japanese by passport, 20 are coming from around the world. Sometimes students ask me, well, I want to learn Japanese, so I don't think I should go to an American school. That's not true at all. You are going to make friends because we are quite unique uh, in comparison to other schools. We actually are fully integrated. So you will be meeting those 40% who are Japanese national. You will be talking to them in Japanese. There are many opportunities for you, for you to use your Japanese out off campus as well. Another reason why students choose us is because of our study options. This seems like a short list, but in comparison to other university options in Japan, we actually have a very long comprehensive list. We are liberal arts based. The most popular major is international business studies, international affairs, art and communication studies. Communication studies, you can choose between journalism or film production. Because we are liberal arts based, that means you can apply as undeclared. That's quite unique compared to other program options in Japan. Um, it's okay for you to change your major as well. And because we are liberal arts based, if you are an art major, you can apply. Uh, you do not need a portfolio review, okay? Now, because we are an American institute in Japan, what does that mean? It means we are the only full four-year university in Japan to accept financial aid. We also have students who use a combination of other uh, other items such as loans and scholarships. If we have any veterans and their family members, you can use the GI Bill at TUJ. That is our tuition on the left side. It's 15,000 US dollars a year. As you can see, it's more affordable for you to go out of country than it is to go out of state. 
because we are an American institute, we have US credits. So these are completely transferable. We are, so if you want to start at a community college or you go to a different university and you realize, no, actually I want to be in Japan, we will accept those transfer credits. We are also the only university in Japan uh, to accept transfer credits for AP credits, IB credits as well. And of course, if you want to go on to graduate school, that's okay too, uh, because we are fully accredited you're earning a world recognized degree so you will be able to go to graduate school whether it's in the US Japan or anywhere around the world here is a quick uh, itemized list for you if you want to use your smartphone you can always turn back uh, and uh, scan the QR code. Let me break the down the application checklist here. To apply to TUJ, you need the online application. You can also use the Common App as well. Just be sure you select the Japan campus. For test score, we normally require uh, native English speakers to submit the SAT or ACT for any seniors who are here online. Um, obviously, we know test centers are closed. So you just need to email us to let us know and we will make a note that you are applying without a test score this year. If you are a non-native English speaker, you have to submit TOEFL, IELTS, PTE, or Duolingo. Duolingo is the online option. For transcripts, we accept digital transcripts. So your teacher, I'm sorry, your counselors should be able to submit them via Naviance, Parchment, or My Options. Um, if you're not sure, just contact your counselor. They can contact me and we'll take the digital transcript, okay? Another reason why students choose us is because of our career prep. Our Career Development Center does an excellent job at preparing students, anywhere from resume writing to interview prep. We also help you with finding a part-time job. Again, the Temple option is to be able to apply what you've learned inside the classroom to outside. Um, and so we are known for our internship program. A lot of times companies, when they want to start an internship program, they come to us directly because they know of the caliber of students we have. And of course, we help you with full-time job employment uh, in terms of job hunting. But of course, you know, nothing is handed to you. Nothing is spoon-fed to you. You do have to work hard. We will be there to support you. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to catch us at our upcoming webinars. We have one October 25th. I put that in Hawaii time for you. Uh, it's on career development. Go ahead and register. Even if you don't think you can be there live, I recommend you register anyway. We will be giving the recording to anyone who registers in advance. In November, we have tea time with TUJ students. We'll be bringing on our student ambassadors. So they'll talk about their lives in Japan, what it's like, how cool it is, what are they up to, uh, as well as the fun activities and clubs you can join. Please be sure to connect with us on Instagram. And of course, that is my email address if you want to connect with me. I'll be in Q&A if, uh, if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Temple University Japan Campus. Up next, you're gonna get to hear from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. University of Nevada, Las Vegas, you are up next. Well, let's move on right now and head on. We'll come back to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, um, and let's move on to DigiPen Institute of Technology. All right, hello everyone. Thanks for being here today. My name is Amanda. I'm an assistant director of outreach at DigiPen. I'm joined by our other assistant director of outreach, Michelle, who will be supporting us in chat today. A quick overview of DigiPen and a quick run through of our programs and some of our admissions information. We are a four year private college in Washington state. So we're just east of the city of Seattle and we really highly focus and specialize in preparing students who want to work in technology and in interactive media fields. What that means is anything across the broader um, career field of technology, whether you want to be in computer science, 
um, art and animation, design, interactive media. Most commonly, our students are known for going into the animation and the video game industries. So you'll see these four areas of expertise here. We have bachelor's degree programs that cover those subject areas, and I'll show you a little bit of those um, later on in the presentation. If you're unfamiliar with Washington State, if you kind of hold your hand like this, like I am right now, make a fist and stick your thumb out. It's a little bit what Washington looks like. Um, Seattle and Redmond, where DigiPen are, as you can see on the map, are not too far apart. I live over in the city of Seattle, but I make the drive to Redmond daily. Um, and so in terms of proximity to the city, you're not right in the middle of it, but it's very accessible to you. There's a lot of different opportunities we like to share with our students, although we are um, seeing about 50% of our students come from Washington State, we see the other 50% come from other states in the US and other countries in the world. So a couple of things to note, like I said, you're in pretty close proximity to downtown Seattle. Um, we are really well known up here in the Pacific Northwest for our natural beauty. So a lot of great national parks and hikes are also in close proximity to us. Talking career-wise, we're also at a huge advantage for our students. You'll see a number of game development companies here, in addition to us being right next door to Microsoft and Amazon. Great opportunities for our students to start networking, finding internship opportunities, and then full-time job opportunities after graduation. We have an excellent career services team that helps every step of the way, from building your resume to helping you prepare for those interviews. And then a few stats on DigiPen. We were the first school in the world to offer a degree in video game programming. We are very well known for preparing students for the video games industry. Again, many of our students have gone into broader technology, into animations, even into things like toy making. There are so many applications for technology now that there are many different job opportunities available to our students. We're a pretty intimate campus. We have about 20 students in each class, that's our average class size. Our student to faculty ratio in the last five years that I've worked at DigiPen has been about 10 to one, 11 to one. And then under the undergraduate programs, if you are in high school looking at your first step into college, again, we've got about eight undergraduate degrees. Those degrees, um, including our two master's degrees, fall into four broad categories that I'll show you here. Computer science, game design and development, digital art and animation, and music and audio. You can absolutely find these on our website under academics um, or feel free to take a quick screenshot here. DigiPen's approach to education is relatively unique. What we do is not only are students applying directly to their major so we can start from day one, but on top of your academic fundamentals, classwork, individual study and assignments, we're adding on project-based learning. This is a required class for students each year and it gives them the chance to practice their skills as they learn them in the classroom and also practice building up a portfolio of work so that when it comes time to look for a job, you're not just saying, yeah, I took these classes, I learned these skills, but you can show them a video game, a piece of software you developed, an animation that you worked with others on to create and develop and then have an employer maybe watch it or play it. Um, see it all the way through, see what your skill set can do. For those thinking of applying, our general admissions requirements, again, all on our website and a few unique ones here. So feel free to take a screenshot of this um, if you're interested or visit our website, connect with us later. In general, from our applicants, um, we have an online application. We'll ask you for an essay component so that we can get to know you a little bit better as far as your, your interests and what you want to do in the future. And then depending on what it is you want to study, we'll have a unique application component for you as well. A couple of updates we like to share for folks thinking of fall 2021. We are not requiring SAT or ACT scores. If you're having trouble getting transcripts from your previous institutions or your current institution, we will accept an unofficial so that we can take a look at that and evaluate while we're waiting for your official require, uh, materials to come through. And then we do have new and expanded financial aid scholarships. So definitely take a look at what we're offering. We've got both merit and need-based scholarships available. Enrollment options for this coming year. Uh, we have a spring 2021 start. So if you are ready and looking to start maybe as early as January, our application for that is open and our priority deadline is October 30th with a final application deadline of December 1st. If you are looking ahead to fall 2021, your priority deadline for the best access to scholarships and housing opportunities is February 1st. And then your very final deadline to be able to apply is going to be July 1st of next year. 
A couple of upcoming events for you. Feel free to take a screenshot of this page, but we do a number of different online opportunities. Our deep dive series there on the left is going to be a full week where you can pick and choose which events are best suited for you. And then finally, um, on the right, kind of topic specific webinars that we host live typically on Wednesdays. If you have any other questions, please let us know. Contact us here, contact us in the chat. We're happy to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you so much, DigiPin. We're, um, don't forget, put those questions in the chat. Um, if you have any questions for the institutions that have already gone or institutions coming up. Next, you're gonna hear from Central Washington University. All right, everyone, welcome to Central Washington University, home of the Wildcats. My name is Laura Miyatake. I am your admissions counselor here with Central. You're more than welcome to reach out to me anytime, whether that's call, text, or email, if you have any additional questions. You can find my contact information on this page and again at the very end of this presentation. So we are a public four-year institution located in Ellensburg, Washington. Central's commitment to hands-on learning, discovery, and individual attention really takes students beyond the limits of the classroom and books. Um, and so students are loving being in Ellensburg for a number of reasons. One, we're surrounded by beautiful mountains, so it allows students to ski and snowboard during the winter time. As mentioned earlier, Washington has an abundance of state parks, and so students are able to go camping, hiking, horseback riding, climbing, and so much more. Students also love to explore our downtown Ellensburg, which is located right across from our main campus. And with over 150 shops and boutiques and really delicious restaurants, students are having activities to go through all year round. Students also love living in Ellensburg just because of our great weather. So we experience almost 300 days of sunshine, but we do also experience a solid four seasons. So be sure to bring your rain gear, your snow gear, and your summer gear as well. But while students love our location, they are staying with us because of who we are as an institution. So as students, you can look forward to an average class size of 25 students. We believe that with small class sizes, along with 99% of our courses being taught by professors, um, it really creates the perfect educational environment. We encourage students to get to know their classmates and their professors by attending office hours, creating study groups, and really just making the most out of each course that they take here with us. Central offers over 135 exciting degree programs, which provide students with an environment to exercise what they're studying in real world professional settings. For example, our biology students and professors are tagging bull trout in the Suquamish Pass. Our music students are performing at Monterey Jazz Festivals. Um, and our geology students are citing earthquake detection systems on dams, mountain tops, and coastlines. Uh, but each year, CWU graduates thousands of well-educated citizens who are ready for that high demand workforce um, and those exciting careers. So I do wanna talk about our application, seniors in the crowd, our fall 2021 application is live and available on our website. You are only able to submit your application via our website as we are not on the Common App or the Coalition App, but our application should only take you about 15, 20 minutes to complete. When going through our application, um, we will be requesting your official high school transcripts along with a $60 application fee or respective fee waiver. If you think you're eligible for a fee waiver, but you're not quite sure yet, go ahead and reach out to your high school counselor or myself for more information. Central is now a test optional school, so we are no longer gonna be requiring test scores as part of your application. But for those of you in the crowd, especially seniors who have an unweighted cumulative 3.0 GPA or above and meet our cater requirements listed on the right-hand side, you're going to be guaranteed admission to Central. For those of you seniors who are below a 3.0 GPA, we will be evaluating those transcripts for those CATA requirements, but we're also gonna be looking for a second document, which is gonna be your personal statement. Please be sure to address all three prompts in our personal statement. And if you're wanting to make sure that essay is top notch, go ahead and email it to me beforehand. More than happy to review it for you, give you some pointers before you officially submit your application. While Central does have a rolling admission, we do have a priority deadline of March 1st. So we encourage you to get your application in as soon as you can. So at Central, we understand that finances can have a large impact in a student's college decision. So we do our best to provide you with scholarship opportunities, FAFSA assistance, and we guarantee an automatic WUI for students residing in the state of Hawaii. And so we encourage you to kind of apply as soon as you can, get that FAFSA in, and also take advantage of this WUI scholarship. So a couple of things to keep in mind, um, we encourage students who are eligible for the WUI to apply before February 1st, as that is the priority awarding deadline. 
applications received after the state will still be considered while funds are available. Um, this is a renewable scholarship and this is going to waive our portion of our out-of-state tuition. So your final tuition amount is going to be about 150% of in-state tuition. So with that being said, um, no other outside uh, CW merit-based scholarships can be added on top of the Louis scholarship. So if you have any questions about this, please feel free to drop a question for me in the Q&A feature. And while we cannot be there for you in person, uh, we have created a wide variety of ways for you to experience campus and learn more about CWU and just who we are as an institution. So I encourage you all to check out our online experiences page, um, specifically for seniors. I encourage you to take a look at our fall virtual preview day happening this month on October 28th and 29th from 1 to 3 p.m. Hawaii time. This is an opportunity for you to connect with current students, hear from our academic departments, admissions, housing, financial aid, and so much more. But I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. Here's my contact information again. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And I look forward to talking with you all soon. And go Wildcats. Thank you so much, Central Washington University. Again, don't be shy with those questions in the chat. I know I've been learning so many things about so many great institutions, but we still have some to go. Next up is IE University. Hey everyone, good evening or good afternoon. My name is Micah Chirpman and I am here to talk to you about IE University. Um, I do have a QR code, uh, feel free to scan it. It is uh, there for you to keep, uh, keep in touch with me, um, learn more about scholarships and also any assistance that you may need. Um, so what is or who is coming to IE? So IE is actually one of the world's most international and diverse universities. Over 75% of our students are coming from all over the world. Um, even though all of our programs are taught in English, we have over 45 languages spoken on campus. And if you are coming from the IB diploma, American, French, all sorts, we will definitely accept them. Um, we have over 130 nationalities on campus and we are a smaller uh, nonprofit private university with 4100 students. Um, so what's great about IE is we are known as an entrepreneurial business school. So we always like to share the statistic that we do have more women on campus and because internships are built in your first and your second year of studying at IE, we really want to close that gender gap when it comes to uh, job placement. So rankings are quite important. We are ranked number one in Spain, fifth in uh, Europe, and then we have the sixth best business administration program worldwide. And we are ranked 18 in the world. And then when it comes to student uh, recruiter sat satisfaction, as well as um, people who come to us, because we do have thousands of partnerships with companies worldwide, we are uh, ranked in the top 10. So what's really unique about IE is we actually have two locations, one experience. And by that, I mean, we have two campuses in Spain. So our first campus is in Madrid. It is a urban campus in the city capital. Um, it's an extremely international uh, city. Uh, Spain happens to be the second most visited country in the world. And of course, Spanish is the second most spoken language in the world. I always like to say Spain is a good mix of California and New York, but with a European twist. So one, Spaniards are very laid back, very open-minded. It's a city that never sleeps and uh, you've got that European style. So good food, able to walk around everywhere. And we are building a new tower, which will be ready by fall 2021. It will be the first and only high-rise university in all of Europe. And our second campus is gonna be more in a rural setting. So if you love hiking, being out in nature, this would be a good place for you to start as well. Um, the Segovia campus was built in 1218, so it is older than the U uh, United States and it's a World Heritage Site, so it's protected by the United Nations. So again, I did mention that you get to work with internships in different companies your first couple years. So if you are interested in international relations, you actually get to do a lot of research projects with the UN. Um, of course, you can study abroad while you're studying abroad. So we have over 220 different partners worldwide for a semester abroad, um, or you can do two semesters abroad. So either or, whatever you would like. Um, talents and careers are super important to talk about. Again, we're ranked first in globally in Spain and then seventh in Europe and 24th worldwide. Again, that shows with how many amazing partners that we have. 
Um, the last thing that I think the slide was a bit quick is we have about 5% of our students who graduate with their own companies. We have an innovation hub we call Area 31 where you get to uh, meet with investors and also mentors in order to start your own company. Um, but where do people go after IE? So what, if you ever have dreamed about um, working abroad or working in a different country, this is a great school to go to. Over 43% of our students who are not from Spain are actually working in different countries. 20% of non-native Spanish speakers are continuing and working in Spain. And then the other 25% pursue higher or further education, like a master's degree. And again, that's worldwide. Um, so careers, this is just a small little uh, screenshot of how many companies that actually come to our campus. They offer different panel discussions that you can meet and network, network with them. Um, they also offer competitions, one that I did um, where you uh, can compete for internships. So I did one with L'Oreal, so I can always talk to you a little bit more about that. Um, but really the idea at IE is that you can figure out or um, be flexible with what you can do with your degree. So not one size fits all, right? Um, it's really learning about what kind of jobs you should be searching for, what kind of experience you should be getting. Um, so how to apply. We are available on Common App or you can apply on our website. Um, it's going to be pretty similar to what we're all used to here in the US. We have an online application. Um, the only documents that will kind of defer um, is that we ask for your passport, uh, a photo and something that we call uh, a CV, which is just another word for resume. We also are known for technology. So there is an online assessment portion. There are just three questions that are recorded live. And then, of course, we typically offer or accept the SATs and ACTs, but we've um, been very fortunate for the last few decades to always offer our own admissions test. So um, the, what's great about the admissions test is, one, you don't have to study for it. It measures your English level, but it also just measures how you learn. Um, so it's, it's a great test. It only takes about an hour. And again, I'm here to help you with that. And then the last step would be the personal interview. Um, so what do we offer? Um, so one thing that's really important to mention when you start looking abroad at universities is making sure they're accredited or legit. Um, IE University is one of 88 universities in the world that has a triple accreditation. Um, so again, we are going to offer single degrees and dual degrees. Some of our most popular degrees are going to be business administration, international relations, computer science and artificial intelligence and law. We've got an amazing law program. And then the dual degrees are just gonna be a mixture of the two and you'll graduate with two degrees. Again, here's that QR code and my email. So if you need or um, need any assistance from me or any help, feel, feel free to, to get in touch and I look forward to uh, helping you out. Thank you, IE University. Our final presentation tonight will be from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Sorry about that, you folks. Let me get my presentation up and running. You know, when that technology fails at the right moment. <laughs> um, welcome, you folks. My name is Wuri Hoshibata, and I'll be your admissions counselor for UNLV. Um, specifically, a local boy from, Los, uh, from Hawaii, specifically, um, out there in Wahiwa. Graduated from Lelehua High School. Kind of packed my bags up in 2012. Um, and made my way out here to UNLV to pursue my degrees in human services counseling and my master's in higher education administration. Um, so it's almost a privilege to come and talk to you folks. Now let's get started with the presentation. So something pretty neat, UNLV is ranked as one of the most ethnically diverse universities in the nation. So we have students who come from all over the world. As you can kind of see on our map, the higher the, the, the larger the dot, the higher the influx of students is who we get a big pull from. So we get a lot of students coming over from Southeast Asia, Australia, South America, you name it, we got it. We have over 72 different countries that's represented at UNLV alone. Now, why does that matter for us? It allows us to have very rich dialogues in our classrooms. You get to hear students come over with different multicultural points of views and having a diversity feeling on a college campus. UNLV continues to serve as an Asian American, Native American Pacific Islander serving institution or also a Hispanic serving institution and we're also a minority serving institution. So we also have programs in place to allow our students to succeed, whether you're looking for research opportunities, maybe you're looking to get connected with different peers, we have those opportunities for you to explore here at UNLV. 
To kind of give you a snapshot of campus as well, we have over 300 undergraduate and graduate programs for students to definitely explore into. Now to kind of give you a snapshot of UNLV, um, we are highly ranked in our hospitality program. So that's something that we definitely take pride in here in Las Vegas, where students have the opportunity to take a very generous approach to this degree, meaning because we offer so many diverse courses, students really get to build up that major of what they ultimately want to explore into. However, we do have our different concentrations that you can definitely dive into as well. We also have a restaurant management track. Not only do we focus on your traditional culinary, we also bring in that business side for you to run your own restaurant in the end. We also have a meetings and events track. Because we have so many different conference scores that come into our city, we have this track that's dedicated towards um, assisting us within our, our hotel industry. But students are doing pretty diverse things with this major, not just focusing on traditional conference planning. They're looking into wedding planning. They're also looking into meetings and events um, and also planning different festivals as well. We also have a PGA golf management program, which is a very small, fine program here on campus at UNLV. And we also have a gaming and technology track, more so the slot machines and the table games that you see that's a stable resource and an economic resource for us here in Las Vegas. But a lot of my international students will tend to enroll into that program, take what they're learning and bring them back home to their own countries. But we also are popular with our health science degrees and our Lee Business School. We also have athletic training for students to definitely dive into. We also have a school of nursing where we bring in a total of 216 students into our cohort every single year with about 72 spots for the fall, 72 spots for the spring and the summer as well too. And one thing that I did wanna highlight during this presentation was the Bowie Scholarship. This tends to be a fairly popular question that I get a lot from our Hawaii students. Um, the Western Undergraduate Exchange Scholarship is definitely available for all of my Hawaii students coming up here to Las Vegas. Now, what makes us a little more unique is that our Wui scholarship will cover all majors here on campus. And as you can see, your out-of-state tuition and fees coming in from Hawaii with no scholarships comes out to about $24,258 for the full year. However, with our Wui scholarship, you can receive up to $12,015 every single year you're a student at UNLV. So our scholarships are four-year renewable, and they are also stackable, meaning that you can receive more than one scholarship. We're not gonna make you pick or choose if you wanna hold your merit-based scholarships, if you wanna hold your community-based scholarships from Hawaii, or if you wanna hold on to your Wui scholarship, you get to hold on to them all. If you do obtain at least that Wui scholarship coming in from Hawaii, we can drop your tuition and fees down to about 12,243. So somewhat kind of comparable to some of your institutions back home in Hawaii, um, but the Wui scholarship is definitely available for you to take a look into. Um, and last but not least, how to qualify for admissions. Um, our priority deadline for financial aid and scholarship consideration is coming up on November 1st. Um, so it's coming up in the next week and a half to qualify for the scholarships that I talked about, our WUI scholarship, our merit-based scholarships, you want to make sure that you're admitted to UNLV by our November 1st priority deadline. Um, we are going to be remaining test optional for students this year. We can work with you on GPA or test scores. Um, to qualify for scholarships, you want to make sure that you submit your application for admissions, your transcripts from your high school in Hawaii, and also your FAFSA application. All three of those documents will place you in line for our scholarships prior to that priority deadline to qualify for the Wui scholarships and any stackable scholarships for UNLV. And last but not least, I did wanna pull up my contact information. Um, I am doing several presentations throughout Hawaii, um, individualized high school presentations. If I did not have the opportunity to reach out to you just yet, feel free to jot down my contact information. If you need help with a fee waiver or anything like that, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you, folks. Thank you so much, UNLV. I'm now going to invite all of our presenters to um, turn on their cameras. And we will have an opportunity to either, um, you can either answer a question live that you answer that was asked in the chat, or you can maybe share a piece of advice to seniors um a fun fact about your institution maybe a campus tradition or a, a fun place on campus that you'd like to visit and we'll start back in the order that we presented originally um temple university japan campus would you like to start okay thank you very much um it's so hard to think of what to choose though <laughs> to talk about um i will say our campus in japan is quite small compared to our main campus in philadelphia philadelphia has about 30,000 students 
In comparison, Japan campus has 1,500. Uh, and in that respect, the building, uh, the campus itself of Japan uh, is small, but our students like that. It's okay because as soon as they step up campus, they have all of Tokyo to explore. So just, you know, less than five minutes away, you're in Shibuya, uh, which is, you know, where all the cool kids hang out. Um, so it is something really fun. And if you hop on the train an hour out, you're in the countryside. And so you get the best of all worlds, which is pretty amazing. Hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much. Um, how about from DigiPen? Sure. Um, similarly, I was actually going to say DigiPen, one of my favorite things about the school is that it is smaller um, in feel. We also have about 1,100 students, so about the same size as the high school I went to, um, and everyone gets to know everyone quite well. The founder and president is still very active today. He's the co-founder of Nintendo of America, but also one of the kind of more integral parts of our campus. If you come see an online presentation, he actually gives quite a few of the welcome talks at those. Um, so I love the family feel of DigiPen, and it is very unique. It is a specialized campus, but that is kind of what makes our students stand out. We actually recently and regularly hear from employers that when they see DigiPen on a resume, um, last week someone from Microsoft told us this, they pull that resume to the top, they put it aside. Um, so as, as kind of newer and, and smaller that DigiPen is, it is getting to be well known and there's a real strong community here. Thank you. How about from Central Washington University? Awesome. So I did want to um, add a couple of quick things. Students, if you are interested in music or aviation management, um, especially if you're a senior this year, please note that you will have to apply to the university first, and then you will actually need to apply for those two specific programs, as those are going to be some of our four-year programs. So you'll start right in your first year with us. For music, um, you will submit their application, you'll actually have a Zoom interview, and then you will actually audition for that program. So if you have questions about those, please feel free to reach out to me anytime. Um, then another quick fun fact about CWU, um, we usually host a rodeo before school starts at the beginning of fall, so it's a lot of fun. It brings the entire community together, city of Ellensburg, and of course all of our students. So lots of fun things happening throughout the year. That does sound fun. How about from IE University? Awesome. So maybe one thing that I didn't get a chance to talk about was uh, tuition and scholarship. So uh, before you even apply, if you're a junior, we actually have a junior advisory board where you can um, compete for an 80% scholarship, which is quite unique. Um, and then also for seniors, we have global challenges competitions that you can also apply for before you apply to the school. Um, so that's pretty exciting. I help you with all of that. And then uh, the other fun fact that I would add, I guess, real quick, is because of that diverse and international student body, we host different things on campus every, day, every year, um, such as our Global Village, which is basically a giant fiesta with all the different um, cultures. They bring food, dances, people, people dress up in different dress wear. Um, we host different holidays on campus, um, a LEAP conference, which is for entrepreneurs, and then we actually host TEDx Talks. Um, so if you have any questions about anything, I'm happy to help you out. Sounds awesome. And finally, from UNLV. Thank you, Courtney. Um, like I said, my name is Wuriwashi Bata, and I came over to UNLV specifically for the cost and opportunities. Um, if you take a look at Las Vegas as a whole, we're a constant city that's continued to develop and grow right now. Um, we kind of capped off the city with the Raiders who just, just relocated for us this past summer um, out to the Ninth Island for you folks. So it's really the resources out here and the internship opportunities. Our students don't have to compete against other big name institutions to really explore into the areas that they really want to dive deep into. We have so many different opportunities for you and being the Ninth Island, we're a tremendous resource for our Hawaii students right at UNLV. Thank you so much. And um, I'm going to leave you with one final piece of advice. I hope that you uh, enjoy your senior year for those seniors that are on tonight. We know that things are a little bit um, different this year and uh, we want you still to celebrate all those fun milestones, celebrate submitting that application, celebrate the acceptances, celebrate every every milestone because they're all really important. Um, and with that, thank you for joining us. Um, as you close out tonight, you're going to have access to a quick four question survey. So we hope that you will provide us some feedback. Um, make sure you take advantage of all the sessions that were um, hosted this evening. 
they will be available on demand within one week on that same website where you registered. Um, have a great afternoon, everyone, and best wishes with that college search process.